Good luck with that. It is a beautiful Melbourne morning out there. Welcome to Magic Mornings. My name's Dean. I am your host, as ever, your perennial host. Your host of illusion, citizens of prestidigitation. Welcome to the show. But before we get started, let me take you back, right back, to 1975. It's teaching and ding a dong. Wonderful! Up your ding it up. <coughs> what about this week? This week, this. Together Forever by Steve Gore. Fellow Englishman. This is a twist on the anniversary waltz. That's the trick where two people select two cards each and they put their signatures on those cards and then those cards, there's some magical illusory byplay with those cards in the pack. They turn face up, I think, magically, defying the laws of physics. And then they're taken out one at a time and they're put between the two spectators' hands, preferably two people having an anniversary or the bride and groom getting married. Good luck, by the way, getting the bride and groom to do a trick at a wedding reception. It's ridiculous. It's not going to happen, right? You're just some guy they booked to do tricks. They, they don't want to see you. Um, and then that card fuses together in a magical way and it becomes a double facer with a signature on both sides. Um, interesting little idea, isn't it? You know, it's a nice little diversion from regular looking card tricks, I suppose. But it's a bit of fluff. It's a bit of fluff, really. You buy a deck of double faces and you can do 52 performances of it. And you give someone a double face card at the end. You might think they're going to put it in their wedding photo album forever, but the reality is they're going to go, oh, it's, the signature's on both, so that's shit. Um, having cards signed is brilliant. It's a theatrical device that we should always use in card tricks, but it's not really designed just for the souvenir aspect, is it? It's not like, and I did this so you could have this forever. Right? It's more so when the card keeps coming back to the top, it's got the name on it, it's just like, whoa, it, how did you do it? How did she get that card to go in the box, folded up, when it's still got the name on it? It's the name on! It can't be a different card, right? Anyway, that's Anniversary Walls, based on other ideas where someone would sign the face of one card and the back of the other, and they'd fuse together just to be a card with a... You know, that's how it started. It's like a double signature idea. Interesting idea. So anyway, um, so Together Forever, it changes the gaff. It changes the special giveaway card at the end that's signed on both sides. Instead of it just being a double facer like that, right, that you give away at the end. It's a card that looks like this, slightly off-center. That's what you get at the end of Together Forever. So it's very interesting. Um, but it does have a few downsides. The first one being that when you see the gimmick, and I'm not gonna show it because I don't want that to be construed as exposure on the show, but if you watch the clip, you can see it. It doesn't look like a weird fusing together of two cards like this, however that would look like. It just looks like a novelty printed card. A novelty cut, novelty printed card. It's actually a lot of fun taking the, because you get 28. It's fun taking them all out and spreading them and it looks like a weird triumph effect that you're doing with weird cards. Um, it looks like a weird printed card and I'm not sure whether people will see that and go, oh, that's a, that's a weird novelty printed card that he somehow got into the deck and had us sign. And that's my second point. Um, they sign that weird card and then it goes straight in their hands. There's no middle act to this trick like Anniversary Waltz. There's no delay, there's no time misdirection where the cards are signed, they go back in the pack, something weird happens to them one at a time, there's a little bit of a delay and then it fuses together. This is just goes straight from the signing to the on the hands. So because of the way the gaff's made, you've got to get it into play. It's a different shape to the other cards. You can't hide it in a pack and stick out of either side. 
And that brings me to our last point about this that is a, is a bit of a downside to me, is that you've got to get this fake card that looks like this into play secretly, and it's a little bit harder than just palming a card because it's a different shape, it's a different size. Um, and they're the three reasons really why I wouldn't be doing Together Forever. If you have played with Anniversary Waltz, if you've played with other ideas of having cards signed on both sides, give it a shot. See what the reactions are like to it, because I'm probably wrong. It might be an amazing thing to find in, in, in your hands, a card that looks like this, but I just think it looks like a trick card. In a way that a double face card doesn't. A double face card seems like a card somehow went, two cards somehow went together. It's like, how did that, it's not glued, it's not, how did, he do, how did they do that? This is like, it's unmistakably just a card that's been cut and printed to look the way it is. So for that reason, I wouldn't be doing it. Who's buying it? People who are pretty good with cards because you've got to palm it in. As they're signing, it's tricky. There's a lot of heat on it because all, literally all you're doing, and Steve Gore describes that, getting that fake card is you just get it at the same time that you're getting the Sharpie so they can write their name on the card. There's nothing else happening except people waiting for a Sharpie pen. All eyes are on you. Um, and the DV, the online instructions that Steve does in his backyard, and he's got an amazing view of the English countryside, but it's, it's, a weak, it's a weak instructional video for me. It's all done in a sort of like almost a long shot, a little bit medium, but mainly long shot. And he, he does a performance with his little girl and his wife, and you can't really see what's going on. He doesn't really describe how to get into it that well. He should have had his wife and his daughter sat around a table like this and done a, a better instructional DVD, I think. It was, it was very disappointing. The gaff is very professionally printed, but do you really need it? Is a double facer enough for a trick where two signatures fuse together on one playing card? You decide. You decide. That's Together Forever by Steve Gore. And that's the end of the show for this week. But before we do go, let me take you back. Let me take you right back. It's Cliff Richard. Congratulations. Congratulations and celebrations When I tell everyone that you're in love with me Congratulations and jubilations I want the world to know I'm happy as can be